it's a lot more fun. It's <laughs> so much fun. Yeah. Now, look, we're from a boys' school, so I guess they love the idea of competition, and I particularly target kids that would thrive on the sort of academic competition. They love the idea of working in small groups and pushing themselves academically. The opportunity to like build things and create things that we wouldn't normally do, I guess. I've been doing the bridge building competition and it's kind of just been fun to see what I know and just what other people know, seeing what the other schools have been doing, different techniques and just pretty much anything else that they can do and just learning new things. I've just enjoyed like meeting new people and stuff and making all the things and yeah, just make, um, seeing what I can do. Well, I personally thought it wouldn't be as interesting before I came, but then came and it's been enjoyable and heaps, heaps, of, heaps fun. of fun. Yeah. Getting together with other people and kind of seeing how different ways, learning different techniques of building stuff. So, yeah. Well, we were supposed to go outside and build a catapult today, but um, we instead, because of the weather, we're building a Mars rover. So what we've got to do is get our little contraption to go over these bumps while carrying the blocks. I'm not very good at what I'm doing. <laughs> the activities like the dish and the plane navigation one. So what is it you've learned about planes today? Um, that you need to get the wings exactly the same like size, otherwise one will lean towards the other and it won't fly very well. And what's been the best thing about today? I think the activities are this one probably, it's more fun. We're doing a science and engineering competition. It involves a lot of different activities. Right now we're doing a plane activity. We need to try and get a, um, a plane through a course the, and the quickest time wins points. And it's a competition, lots of schools. In the end, whoever has the most points comes out on top. That's really interesting. And what do you think you've learnt most today? Well, mostly just to use trial and error and to make sure that you use science inside even the basicest things, such as putting together a frame of your plane. Our activity was um, gold fever. We had to make a bridge to get gold out of like a mine shaft and we'd come across like a hole and we couldn't get through it. So we had to make a bridge that's strong enough to carry the gold and the trolley out with us. And how do you think your bridge is going to fare when it comes to the competition? Not entirely sure but we're hoping it'll go really well. And what do you think it is you've learnt most about science and engineering from today? Um, just how to properly structure things and to, you know, you have to get the right, you know, length and everything right, otherwise it's just not going to work. And probably going to fail. Well there's different techniques that I have learned with the bridge building. There's uh, one of the experts that they're in there helping different things with the widths and lengths of everything and where to put uh, the strengths for the bridges and stuff and it's more just a fun way to learn about what different things you can do with the science and engineering. I guess I've just learned that I can do other things and like and it's better in an environment where you can make stuff and more hands-on than just sitting in a classroom learning that way learnt how to make a propeller move on a little car, which was pretty cool, but we thought it wouldn't work and then it went, ended up going backwards. But You have to try a lot of new things to get the right sort of balance. The importance of suspension through this, there are different ways you can assemble things, it's really just fiddling around till it works. Just getting a taste of it, like on a really basic level, but like how it can be adapted to more complex designs. Well, it's just a good way to get out of the classroom, get rid of just boring prac work and stuff, writing stuff up in books, a bit more of a hands-on experience and just having a bit more fun with science. And That there's more opportunities and different styles of things and it's not just all about cars and that. What we're doing here with this Love the Girls is um, uh, they've built the plane and they've used some helium balloons uh, and they're controlling it with a battery pack and the idea of, um, of the course is to actually go around the hats, go around the course and 
get back within a minimum time. So what they do is they try to balance the way they've actually constructed the plane with the weight um, of the plane and therefore the angles of the turns and so on. And, um, and I think they've had fun. I think they, were, they could have won this race, but I, I think what they're going to do now is focus on the design of the plane um, so they can get it ready for the next course. We found out how to build a plane that basically can fly. <laughs> um, yeah, and test it. And um, like we learn how propellers work, and, yeah, how to control them. get a more hands-on experience, uh, realise they can make mistakes and it's okay, uh, understand that there's a lot more to engineering than just cars and it's not just about what boys do, girls can achieve something as well. I think it's a, a great opportunity for kids to uh, get out of the classroom and uh, sort of do things in a, I don't know, without having to write up a practical report or anything like that, it sort of just makes it fun. And I think, uh, I think students need more of that, just to be able to see things in, in a context of, okay, this stuff can actually be enjoyable. I think that they'll be uh, more confident, they'll be able to ask questions, uh, they'll have more of an understanding of what engineering is. I would hope it... Uh, makes them a little bit more enthusiastic about being in the in the science classroom and maybe sort of just see a bit more relevance in in things that we cover at school maybe in maths and, and areas like that are probably harder to sort of see the practical nature of them and I think yeah look hopefully that starts to uh, get them thinking about how these things that they do at school can be practical I hope they have fun so I really hope that they understand that, that science and engineering is about having fun. You know, I think the main thing is that, uh, yeah, science and engineering, I mean, they, it's sort of areas that excite me and, and hopefully I think they, uh, they get a bit of excitement out of it as well and hopefully gives them a bit of a, a view of what the future could hold if they, uh, if they went down in those areas. My name is Devoy Ivanovich, I'm from the University of Newcastle. I'm the uh, event assistant for today's challenge. Uh, so it's my job to stay on top of the scoring and uh, determine who the uh, winner is at the end of the day. Gets these lovely trophies that we have in front of us here. Is this your first time at Deakin? It is in fact, yes. Yeah. First time in Victoria actually.